Good day everyone, you're watching Ratio Fixes. On this video, I'm going to talk about how to clear cache in your Windows 10 automatically. Now, there are uh, different ways to go ahead and clear your cache. Uh, now, one simple way to clear your cache is to go ahead and restart your computer and that should clear your cache. However, um, I can suggest you with two different options. Now, let me talk to you about how to check how much cache memory uh, is uh, being utilized on your computer. Now to check that, what you will have to do is uh, you can open the task manager. You can do a right click on your Windows task and click on task manager. Go to performances. Under performances, you will see memory. Under memory, you would see that um, the cache memory, what has been used on my computer is about 2.7 gigs, um, which is going to be unused or it is a wastage. Now, um, like I said earlier, this can be cleared by restarting your computer. However, there are easier way to go ahead and um, uh, clear this cache memory. That is what I'm going to talk about on this video. So if you want to check um, how much cache memory is really used, you can go to re resource monitor and you can go to memory tab right here. And on this section, the standby is the one you would see that there is about almost two gigs of uh, cache memory which has been um, wasted or uh, um, which has been utilized so you can go ahead and clear the cache so let's go ahead and talk about the software which can be used to clear the cache the one uh, software which i'm talking going to talk about is about the ram map now this is the software which has been recommended by uh, microsoft and it has been developed by mark rosovich which you can download it on your computer and use to clear the cache now only one drawback side of uh, using this uh, software is you will have to go ahead and run the application um, manually so let's say you're playing a game or you're playing a video or doing a video editing you um, you may not like to go ahead and run this application um, uh, every now and then so i'm also going to talk about another software which talks about how to uh, clear the cache automatically so let's talk about uh, ram map so you will have to go ahead and download this uh, software on your computer once you download this uh, you this is how the folder would look like after extraction um, this is how the uh, folder will uh, be looking so to run the ram map ram map what you will have to do is you'll have to double click on it in case if you get a user access control prompt you may click on yes and um, this is how the program would look like now let's see how exactly the uh, cache memory work so let me keep uh, the windows in a side by side view and see the difference between the uh, cache when it is used when you use the uh, ram map software to clear the cache so it's this is how it is so in order to clear the cache right now if you look at the cache you would see about 2.4 gigs so when you clear the cache uh, in order to use clear the cache in ram map what you will have to do is you will have to click on empty and you can you will have to click on empty standby list so as you click on that the cache memory has been reduced from 2 gigs to 220 megabytes so this is a manual way um, now in case if you don't prefer the manual way if you want to automate this automate this task um, for every five minutes or 10 or maybe one hour now that can be done using us another tool which is called empty standby list i will put this link in my video description you can download this software so once you click on download uh, this is how the software would look like uh, it says empty standby cache now the first thing what you will have to do is you will have to go ahead and create a folder in your c drive um, because we are going to create a task to run this program every five or 10 or maybe 30 or 60 minutes so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead i'm going to copy this file go to my c drive and i'm going to create a folder which says clear cache and i'm going to paste the empty cache application and the exe file into the uh, c drive now make sure you have certain permissions set for empty cache so do a right click 
go to properties under properties go to compatibility under compatibility make sure run this program as an administrator has been checked so that it has got appropriate permission to run this program click on apply and then click on ok now once the next step what we will be doing is we will be going ahead and creating a task so um, so for this what you will have to do is you will have to open a task scheduler to go in the search box you can go ahead and type task scheduler double click on task scheduler now this will open up the task scheduler window in order to create a task what you will have to do is you will have to click on create task give a name for this task in my case i'm going to give it give the name as empty cash you can give any name of your choice or you can paste the same thing in the description or you can also put uh, you can add more description so that you can identify what task you're running on your computer once this is done the next step what you will have to do is you will have to change user group so that uh, under user group you will have to go ahead and select system in case if you're not uh, what you will have to do is once you click on change user group under select user group user auto group you will have to click on advanced and click on find now as soon as you click on find now look for system double click on it click on ok uh, this will show up system under the object name so click on ok and make sure you have the box checked for run with the highest privileges and under configure for you will have to select windows 10 because that's your operating system then click on triggers click on new under new uh, here you're triggering the task to start so select one time and uh, right here you will have to go ahead and check which says repeat the task every day for one hour in my case i'm going to select five minutes that's the least you can select so you can select for 5 10 15 30 or uh, one hour so it depends on how, how you want to run this task in my case for the demonstration purpose i'm going to select five minutes and for a duration you can set the duration for 12 hours or 30 minutes if it is ind indefinitely which means that this task is going to run every five minutes until you go ahead and delete this task or maybe a lifetime task and make sure this has been ch checked uh, enable has been checked click on ok and the next thing is you will have to go to actions under actions you will have to click on new under new you will have to uh, navigate to the location program or a script click on browse go to your c drive where you have created a folder uh, in your case it might depend where you have stored the uh, clear cache folder go to the location click on open and click on ok again and go to the conditions under condition uh, make sure nothing is been altered here go to settings make sure this is uh, as is do not make any changes right here so you will have to focus on triggers general triggers and actions and the rest of the uh, tabs will remain as is click on ok now once you've done that there's a uh, task which has been created and it will show up in the task schedule library so this is how it would look like and if you expand this you will have to look for empty cache and um, next run time is at 1326 so it is three minutes from now so uh, what this task will do is it will go ahead and uh, clear the cache every five minutes in case if you can't wait for five minutes you can also run this task so let me uh, show you a demonstration how to run this task manually so let me move this window on a side by side view let me keep it here and let me move this right on this portion and if you look at the cache memory you would see there is about 929 and that has been increasing uh, as you as your computer is turned on so i'm going to clear select the task which says empty cache and click on run as soon as you run you would see the cache memory is reducing so 
um, this is a manual way of running a task. However, the scheduler, what we have set is this uh, task, the, this particular task will be running every five minutes. So since we have run this task at 1326, sorry, uh, this since we have uh, run this task earlier, the next schedule uh, task is about 1326. So let's wait um, for the next task to run, uh, to run it automatically. And uh, now we are going to do it automatically. So now, uh, since the next task which is going to run is at uh, 1326, so right now the time is 1325, or to be precise, it is 1325.54. So this task should run anytime um, at 1326. So if you look at the cache memory, it is about 420, and the number is increasing, and the task should be running. And if you look at this now, the uh, task has been the uh, cache memory has been reduced. So this is how you can go ahead and clear the task or the cache memory automatically on your Windows 10 machine. So I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button. And I will also put the uh, links on to the uh, two different softwares in the video description. Thank you for watching. You have a wonderful day.